Hey, what's up, guys? We're going to be uh, showing you in this video how to install a uh, font and download your brush and put it in Photoshop to use it for your future graphic designs. So we're going to knock this off really quick. I'm going to go ahead and open up Google Chrome. We're going to start with downloading your font. We're going to go ahead and go to defont.com. And we're going to find something simple, something that I like. And I don't have much cursive fonts, so we're going to use this one as an example. It's going to be called Southern Air. Go over here and hit download. Wait for it to get done downloading. Make sure you have WinRAR. Most of these aren't zipped. So make sure you have WinRAR downloaded. That's W I N A, I mean R A R. What you're going to do is you're going to look for that text document. And it has a little A right here. It's a .ttf. It has a little A icon right there. You're going to extract it to your libraries. You're going to look for, for some reason it's not in there, whatever. I guess we can go ahead and put it in our uh, desktop. Shouldn't be that hard to put in there. Then let's extract it. It's on our desktop. Look on your desktop. It's right there. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and right-click your font. Hit install. Wait for your little parental controls or your little notice to pop up. My, mine will take a little bit longer as my computer is a few years old and it has a lot of stuff downloaded on it already. Go ahead and accept it. Let it download. It takes about a split second or two. There you go. It's done. Throw that in the garbage can unless you want to keep it in a folder. Unless you case you act, unless you accidentally get rid of it. Open up Photoshop. Open up a new thing. Whatever you can have. Whatever you want in here. You're gonna wait for this to open up. You're gonna select the uh, text tool. We're gonna go back to see what the name was. It was called Southern Air. Over here, open up this. Put that around 90 fonts so it's seeable. And it was called Southern Airs. So we're gonna put my uh, channel name in here: Twisty GFX HD. Control A to select the whole thing, and we're gonna type in Southern. There it is, and there it is, right there in Photoshop. So nice and it's a nice looking font. It's good for maybe a signature or something, something useful. You got that right there, and just place it right there. It's a nice looking font. Now we're going to move on to our brush, which, which you really need a lot for when you're making your graphic designs. To mainly use for signatures or smudges, and I tend to do signatures a lot. I tend to enter in a lot of competitions. So now we're going to move on to our brushes. We're going to find the brush you think you like, and uh, this looks like a nice flat brush is what it looks like. Yep, high res, high res grunge brushes. What you're going to do is, you know, this shows a preview of what it looks like. It shows a little bit of a uh, few, like, sponsored images. Pretty cool. Go over here and hit download. Give it a second. It's a nice zip file over here, so you don't need WinRAR. Wait for it to download. Show in folder. All right, there it is. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna extract files. Wait for that little screen to pop up. All right, so I'm gonna extract it to the. Um, I guess we could just extract it to the desktop. I'm going to wait for my computer to stop being really slow. Give it a second. It's just processing that I have a lot of stuff installed. We're going to go ahead and select it and download it to our downloads, which is the most common place when people download their stuff. As you can see, I have my things filled up all the way up and down. I'm going to go ahead and leave this open. I'm going to close this real quick. Head back to our uh, Photoshop. To download a brush, it's a little bit different than installing a file. It requires a, bit, it requires a few more steps. I'm going to wait for my Photoshop to open. There it is. Or it's going to minimize. We're going to go over here and select our brush tool. It's right there. I'm going to go over here and click this little drop down menu. This little side tool. You're going to go down a bit. Load tool presets. You're going to go to your uh, start button to open up your folder. I'll just click computer to get there faster. Click downloads. And the, there it is. The high res grunge brush is right there in front of your face. Take it. Drag it in there, give it a second to pop up as it has to register, and it's not popping up for some reason. Did it go in? Yes, it did. For some reason, it's not in there. So it'll be in there when you put it in there, and it'll show it, and then you hit load, and it basically loads up, closes, and your brush will be right in there. You will go to the bottom as it's a new brush, and you got it right there. Let's turn this. What you want to do is you want to turn it down a bit. And you mess with it. Mess with it. Do whatever you want with it. Put it around. Scribble. Do whatever. So this is a quick video on how to install your brushes and your fonts. Feel free to subscribe and like. And I'll be showing some tutorials on how to make a decent background in Photoshop and stuff like that. Bye.